Hey guys, this is Chris Reed Beats and welcome back to another video here on my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to make your own sample loops right inside of Reason. Reason makes it super easy for you, by the way. So I'm going to give you guys a tip at the end of this video for creating your own sample packs. With that being said, let's jump right into the video. Just with baseline generator and at any instrument, pretty much. You load up an instrument and you load up a baseline generator, it's a player, and you instantly just press randomize a couple of times. Let's change the root note, because we've been using C a lot. Change the root note. Let's change it to F. Let's change it to F. Let's go F sharp. We'll change it to F sharp, and then we'll just, we'll just, we'll choose a different sound. We'll choose a different sound. Trying to show you guys here. Let's choose a different. Cool, nice little heart. Now let's add some effects. Let's add this sweeper effect. Let's add a little bit of reverb. Overizer. Squash it a little bit. A little dirt. Turn the wet down some. And now you got a base. Now you got a base for something. You can you can add something else in, right? I like to use like mouse drums because like it's just the quickest thing for like some like sound design. So like I always go to them like first. So like you know, you just choose a sound and then we can come over here and choose a mod. Let's change the mod. Let's use mod B because mod B, I can change the filter, which is what I want. And we just have to route this so that it's routed into the filter, right? That's what these little buttons and, and little triangles and things mean. And then, of course, we, we, we're definitely going to add in some, some more reverb. And um, I'll just choose a random patch. I like that. And um, we're, we're going to get to changing some stuff around. Again, turn on the sync. This rate is too fast. I'm gonna slow this down. Cool. We could turn on the shaper. To you, you know, you just just try things out. Try things out until you get what you want, right? There's two filters. Cool, right?
Okay, so if we want to make sure that we have that melody um, that we created with the baseline generator, two ways we can do it. One, we can just hit direct record and then actually press the record button and then it'll, it'll play it. And um, so now we have all those notes, right? So that's that's one way that you can do it in case you were ever wondering, hey, how do you do that? I played it kind of low. I want to play it. I want to bring it a little higher. So I'm bringing it up a little higher. That's interesting. Oh, that's a F sharp. So we'll call that a, let's see, music production 2022. We need a new folder. We'll call that sample pack. You know what? We're going to call this epic, epic scene sample pack. Titanic 2. And uh, it's a 120 BPM. And it's the F sharp minor key. So like the file is named Titanic 2, right? All right, so I have the file name, I have the BPMs, I have the key that it's in, I have all the information. And then because we actually made kind of a beat to it, then we already have that ready to go, right? Bounce mixer channels, check all, uncheck the drums, and loop. Range to bounce, set it to loop. We only want that loop section. And I try to give a little bit more of the loop than what it begins with, right? Hit OK. It'll just do that loop section. It'll it'll export that. Here's my tutorial how to make sample packs. This is my how to make sample packs tutorial. So now we can take this and actually use this as a um, demo for the loop pack. Right? All right, guys. So once you have bounced your mixer channels, Reason is going to create a folder where it's going to put all of the stems for the sample that you have created. Also, remember to export a loop of the demo, including the drums, so that you have a sample for your loop pack. So right inside of my folder, I can locate the stems that I created when I bounced the mixer channels. 
and it will have all of the different parts that I have created inside of Reason. Depending on how big you want your sample loop pack to be, just create a couple more loops, use Reason players to give you inspiration, and create more loops, and then bounce those loops so that you have all of the stems for the loops, and that really just gives you extra value when you're creating your sample loop packs. Creating loops for your sample packs is the first step, but in the next video, I'll show you how you can package your loop pack and upload it so that you can start selling it online.